beautiful people welcome back to her styles tv i'm back with another video so as you can see by the title this is a video about my portable or about using a portable shampoo bowl so i moved back home from atlanta um in november of 2022 and when i was in atlanta i had a salon suite so here in brunswick georgia um Someone just opened a salon suite, but it was after I got this salon space or made this into a salon space. So the salon space I have is an office space. So there's no plumbing in here. So what I had to do is get a portable shampoo bowl. Now there are pros and cons with using a shampoo bowl. The first one is you can use it without plumbing. Um, if you're like me and use a office space, this is very helpful. Um, the second pro is that it has an electrical uh, pump where you can use a sprayer. And that is very helpful with not having plumbing because, you know, I'm used to a regular shampoo bowl where I just turn the water on and yeah. So, um... Those are my only, no, I have another pro, I'm sorry, because <laughs> I'm like. My third pro is it has an adjustable bow. So this is very helpful for when you have kid clients or clients that are shorter or even taller. So that is a pro. Also, it goes up and down as well. So that is all my pros. All right, and now, for the cons. The first con is they have two water tanks. One for the water and one for the water draining out of the bowl. It only holds about five gallons between the both of them. So what I chose to do because one bucket will only get like a half a wash or a whole wash depending on the hair density but most of the time it's a half a wash so what I've done is use both tanks as the water coming out the sprayer and I have to and I decided to use buckets for the water drainage system so that can be time consuming carrying the water out, making sure the buckets does not run over, um, making sure the water um, is, you have enough water in each bucket, and so forth and so on. So to make sure that I have water in each bucket, I use refillable water jugs. Um, so I'll have to run back and forth to the sink getting water I could just fill it up really quick um, while my client <coughs> excuse me client is laying at the bowl and get the shampoo service done that way now another con is having to refill these water jugs on a regular basis and that could be a time-consuming but what I do I um, fill the jugs up at home and I use a pull cart to transport the, the jug so I won't have to be going back and forth to my car into here to bring the jugs. And another con is, of course, having to go and dump the water buckets. Um, even though I work out doing these water jugs, I mean, uh, um, <laughs> Emptying the water buckets is another workout. I mean, I guess it's it, it's a win-win for me. But having to go dumping those ugh, can be time-consuming. <laughs> and making sure they're not running over. I have to make sure I'm shampooing my client right. Uh, giving them a good surface while paying attention to the water buckets at the same time. And another con um, is because I don't have a it hooked to the plumbing 
I have to heat the water okay. myself. I use this portable heater. Um, and I, of course, I found this on Amazon. And of course, people use this when they go camping to heat up their water. So this has been helpful, but the only thing is you have to make sure the water is not too hot or not too cold. It heats up pretty fast when it gets to going, but making sure the water temperature is right, <laughs> that could be a thing too. But I'm glad I found this because when I was getting the portable shampoo bowl, I was like, okay, there's no plumbing. How am I have this water hot? So I found this on Amazon. And everything I have, the portable shampoo bowl and the water heater will be in the description below. Um, also when I uh, fill up, also when I fill up my jugs, I try to fill the water with hot water as well. So that is all the pros and cons with having a portable shampoo bowl. I'm thankful I was able to get this and have this in here so I could still um, service clients in the Brunswick area. And if you didn't know, um, I had to close my salon in Atlanta, rebuild here. So I'm in the rebuilding phase, which is going good because people already knew I did hair from social media and being um, uh, connected with people already here. So that's a good thing. But of course, you have to go out and market, market, market. And that's what I've been doing since I've been here. But I just want to share this so you can um, know once if you're thinking about getting a portable shampoo bowl and being in the office space and if it's not in your home. Because if it, this was in my home, I could connect it to my sink at home so I can have hot and cold water. But that is not the case here. I wanted to have a space so it could feel like a salon space and not just coming to my house. And I'm one, I don't want all that traffic coming in and out. And plus, I live with my mom, my grandma, you know, there's other people in there. So, yes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So, go ahead and if this is your first time um, here and you watched the whole way through, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I drop a video. This lighting wasn't the best because the lighting in here is not that great because I don't have a window or anything. But yes, so. Sorry, the camera cut off on me. But what I was saying was follow me on Instagram and TikTok at HerStylesWithTheZ15. And all right, folks, I'll see you on the next one. God bless.